A few years ago, I read this article that said that guys really like the smell of vanilla. <laughs> I did. Because if you have bad breath, there is literally no amount of perfume that you can put on to cover up your smelly breath. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you a little not so well-known fact about me. I am extremely neurotic about my body odor. Anytime I'm in public and someone says that something smells bad, I automatically get worried that it's me that smells bad. And I'm not saying this to sound relatable or cute. This is actually something that I don't wanna say struggle with, but it's something that I am a little bit obsessed with in my day-to-day -day life. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all of my top tips and tricks on how to smell good all day. So really quick, if you guys are new to my channel, hello, my name is Audrey. I make videos sharing all of my skincare, hair, and just overall beauty tips and tricks. So if you'd like to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe and you can also follow me on Instagram at Audrey Victoria X. I am going to start this video off by sharing with you guys one of my top secrets to smelling good that does not involve any type of expensive perfume or anything like that. And Every single time that I do this hack, I get so many compliments on how good I smell. This tip is to use a body wash, body lotion, and body spray, all of the same exact scent from Bath & Body Works. My favorite scents from Bath & Body Works are Moonlight Path, Warm Vanilla Sugar, and Jasmine Cherry Blossom. And in a minute, I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how I use the Bath & Body Works trio in order to smell good. But first, the thing with Bath & Body Works is that oftentimes their products are sold out. Like for example, the Sweet Pea scent is often sold out. Also, Bath & Body Works has so many sales throughout the year so there's really no point in paying full price for their products but it can be really annoying having to keep going back to the website checking if there's a sale checking if one of your favorite products like the sweet pea products are back in stock but luckily I have a remedy for this issue so recently I started using this browser extension slash app called shop tagger and I've actually partnered with them on this video so shop tagger notifies me anytime any of my favorite products on websites like Bath and Body Works are either on on sale or back in stock. Also, Shop Tagger searches for coupon codes. Anytime you're checking out, you can save money and it is literally a free app. To use Shop Tagger, all you have to do is download the extension via the link in the description of this video. Go to a store that you like and click the button or slider when you see an item that you wanna save. Then when the item you've saved goes on sale or comes back in stock, you'll either get a push notification or an email from Shop Tagger to notify you. So you can create multiple wish lists to organize your saved items. Shop Tiger also searches for coupons anytime you're checking out. So if there is a deal to be had, then they will find it for you. And also Shop Tiger recently launched a new cash back system where when you purchase products from select retailers, it'll put money right back into your PayPal account. So make sure to check the link in the description to download the Shop Tiger browser extension. So now let's move on with the video. Let's cover how I use the products first. I take a shower at night and if I want to use this hack to smell really good then I will use a Bath & Body Works body wash. So I just wash my body in the shower with the body wash. Then within three minutes of getting out of the shower I use the identical scent body lotion. So in this case it would be warm vanilla sugar. And I use this body lotion literally all over my body. My arms, my belly, my behind, my legs, my feet everywhere except for like down there and just like other areas where it's not appropriate to use scented body lotion and then i go to bed wearing clean fresh pajamas when i wake up in the morning one of the first things that i do before i get dressed is i spray the warm vanilla sugar body spray all over my body but there are specific places where i spray it so I will spray right here on my forearm, my bicep, my other forearm, my other bicep, my tummy, my thigh, my calf, and then my other thigh, and then my other calf, and then also behind my neck. And I swear this will make you smell good all day. So the thing with the Bath & Body Works scents is that they're not like 
overly potent but it is going to make you just smell so fresh and the next thing that i want to touch on are these specific scents that you should wear in order to smell good and by the way this is only if you care what your significant other thinks about your scent so obviously if you don't care what they think then you can just go with whatever scent that you want um, but anyway, a few years ago, I read this article that said that guys really like the smell of vanilla. <laughs> so, I did. And the warm vanilla is just <laughs> No, I seriously did. And the warm vanilla sugar scent is the perfect scent of vanilla. Another thing that I would like to cover about the scents that you should wear if you want your significant other to think that you smell good is that the scents that you like on yourself may not be what they like. So for example, I personally really like fruity smells, but Edwin does not really like fruity smells. He likes more mature scents. So for example, Japanese cherry blossom or more accurately, Moonlight Path, which is a very mature scent. He would much rather me wear this these types of scents than like sweet pea or just like a fruity scent. My main tip here is if you wanna smell good to impress your significant other, go with either a vanilla scent or a mature scent. My next tip is to make sure that you are thoroughly cleaning all of the crevices and like folds of your body, specifically behind your ears and on your neck. So I will never forget when I was in eighth grade, my health teacher told all of us, I don't know why she said this, I think maybe some of the people in my class smelled bad, but basically she was like, I need to tell you guys that when you take a shower, you should be washing behind your ears because if you're not, then you're gonna smell bad. But it has stuck with me ever since and it is so true. First of all, there's so much sweat that collects behind your ears and on your neck. And second of all, when you're having a conversation with someone, the scent coming from your ears, they're definitely gonna be able to smell it if it smells bad. So just please make sure to scrub behind your ears, scrub within your ears, scrub your neck because those are all areas. <laughs> Edwin is smelling behind his ears. I don't know if he cleans behind his ears. Do you clean behind your ears? <laughs> yes. Okay. Some other areas where you should be thoroughly washing your armpits in between your chest, behind your knees, behind your elbows or like within your elbows, anywhere where sweat can build up in between your inner thighs. Oh, and your belly button. Don't forget to clean there. I feel like we often forget about the belly button, but as Kevin McAllister points out in Home Alone, it is important to clean your belly button. And also I recommend a shower at night just because I feel like it's a lot better to go lay in your bed freshly cleaned rather than being all sweaty and dirty from the day because then if you go into bed dirty, your bed is just gonna smell and then it's just gonna make you smell even worse and then it's just gonna be a lot harder to get the gross smellingness off of your body when you shower in the morning. And also make sure to change your sheets weekly because you are going to be laying in them literally for give or take eight hours a day and if you just let them sit there for weeks on end they're gonna start to smell bad and then you're gonna start to smell bad and it's just not gonna be good for your body odor or your mattress for that matter my next tip is something that i share with you guys a lot in my videos so if you are a returning viewer you probably already know what i'm gonna say i recommend to clean the areas of your body that can get super sweaty and just like gross with Castile soap, specifically diluted Castile soap. Usually I like to use the unscented Castile soap, but I cannot for the life of me find where it is in this apartment right now. So I've just been using the lavender one. I store the Castile soap and water in one of these travel sized empty bottles from Target. And the reason why I like to use Castile soap to wash areas of my body, like my armpits or behind my ears, my neck is because it is extremely good at thoroughly cleaning it is so good that you really want to make sure to dilute it but the thing with Castile soap is that it can be really really strong so I don't use it every day I only use it when I'm desperate to be thoroughly cleaned and when I feel like I really smell bad my next tip are these things right here so these are travel sized perfume bottles that I got off Amazon you literally just twist it open and then you can just like spray it and it's really easy to fill these up with your favorite body spray spray or perfumes. It's the worst when you're out and you feel like you smell bad or you forgot to put on perfume or something. Just keep one of these in your purse permanently 
and you'll be good to go. Another thing that you want to keep in your purse permanently is deodorant. So I actually have a separate deodorant that I keep only in my purse. I never take it out unless I have to use it when I'm in public. And that is because we've all had those moments when we've been out in public and we realize that we forgot to put deodorant on. Just to avoid that stressful situation, keep deodorant in your purse and just never take it out. The next tip that I have for you guys is potentially the most important tip in this entire video and that is to take proper care of your teeth. This is not meant to sound mean or rude. I feel like it's gonna come off that way, but whatever. I just get very irritated when I can tell that someone either doesn't take care of their teeth generally or just like has gone out and hasn't brushed their teeth. And again, this is not meant to sound rude, but I can promise you if you do not brush your teeth, then yes you smell bad Ugh, so please stay on top of it clearly i am passionate about oral hygiene so here is a quick rundown of my oral hygiene routine in order to keep my breath smelling good because if you have bad breath there is literally no amount of perfume that you can put on to cover up your smelly breath so every single night I start off my oral hygiene routine brushing my Invisalign with toothpaste and with like a separate toothbrush that I have. If you guys can't tell already in this video, I have Invisalign and it makes me talk with a lisp. It's lovely. Then the next step is to floss. I use these plackers. These are my favorite flosses. These are better than like the Oral-B ones. You can just get these at Target. I also believe they sell them at the dollar store. And then I brush my teeth with my electric toothbrush. And then I use a tongue scraper. The thing with tongue scrapers is that they're really effective at getting all of the bacteria off of your tongue, which there can be a lot of. And oftentimes that can be a contributing factor if you have bad breath. After using a tongue scraper for months now, I've realized that I cannot go overboard with it. So some days I won't use it just because I actually started to bleed on my tongue because I was using the tongue scraper so much. I either use it every other day or I use it every day, but I go very lightly over my tongue. And if I don't use a tongue scraper, then I just make sure to go over my tongue with my electric toothbrush. And then finally, where are you? I use Listerine Total Care alcohol-free mouthwash. The reason why I go for alcohol-free mouthwash is because mouthwash with alcohol, yes, it cleans your mouth, it gets rid of all of the bacteria, but the thing is that it removes so much bacteria that it makes your mouth really dry and it gets rid of all of the saliva and a dry mouth equals bad breath. So instead I use this mouthwash and I look forward to using it every day because it smells and tastes so good and it may be because I'm pregnant but I think I get like a rush of dopamine when I use this because it just tastes amazing and I want to eat it but when I wasn't pregnant this did not happen and then in the morning when I wake up I brush my Invisalign first thing then I brush my teeth with my electric toothbrush then I just rinse my mouth out and then I go about my day so my next tip is all about laundry detergent oh my gosh this is so heavy I use gain and attitude these are complete opposites but I use them in different situations basically I use gain to wash my clothes bras towels linens then for my underwear, I use the Attitude laundry detergent. Now, the reason why I use a separate laundry detergent for my underwear is because actually, if you use a scented detergent down there or just scented products down there, period, no pun intended, um, you can actually get an infection. And infections are bad regardless of the symptoms, but one of the symptoms of an infection that you can get from using scented products is that that area can smell really bad. To avoid the area from smelling bad, use unscented products like this Attitude laundry detergent, which is actually for babies, um, but it works just as fine. It just doesn't have a scent. So this has been my very in-depth and detailed and passionate video about how to smell good all day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed these tips. Thank you again to ShopTagger for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to download the ShopTagger browser extension or app, just click the link in the description. And yeah, thank you guys again for watching. I love all of you and I'll talk to you guys next time.